Today we're going to talk about this little lens that I'm using to film this video. The Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 Prime Pancake Lens, it is the Mark II version and after 4 years that I've been using this lens on a regular basis, in this review I'm going to share with you my thoughts about it and hopefully you will find out if it's worth buying it. For you to get an idea of what this lens is really capable of, before we dive into the review, let's go outside and shoot some video and photos with it. What's up you guys, Vitor Pinhão here, welcome back to my channel and I really hope that you like that sequence all shot with my Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 lens. And I just want to start this video out by saying that this lens review is not sponsored. I paid for this lens myself when I first started my filmmaking and photography journey about 4 years ago and this will be my honest opinion. So if you like this video and if it's useful for you, please hit that like button for me because, you know, that is always very much appreciated. So the Lumix 20mm f1.7 will give you a full frame equivalent of 40mm field of view when you use it in micro four thirds cameras, which is a great, useful and very versatile field of view to have. It's actually very close to 35mm full frame equivalent, which is my personal favorite field of view to use. As I said at the beginning of this video, right now I'm using my Lumix 20mm f1.7 lens. It is mounted on my Panasonic GH5 camera and and as you can see, this lens works really well for these types of videos. But now I will put my 20mm lens on my Panasonic G7 camera and let's see what that looks like. So I just changed the camera and this is what the Lumix 20mm f1.7 lens looks like when mounted with a Panasonic G7 camera. But let's get back to the GH5. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about this lens is actually the opportunity for Micro Four Thirds camera users who want to improve their filmmaking and photography work but don't have the budget to spend on an expensive prime lens. And this is a great option because it's not too expensive, it has a lot of high quality features and I recommend this lens even more if you only have the kit lens and you want to buy your first prime lens. And that was exactly the situation where I was 4 years ago. When I first got into filmmaking and photography, back in 2018, I only had the kit lens, which was very limited and the image quality was not that good. And I really wanted a faster lens that could give me the ability to capture more professional images with a shallower depth of field. So I bought this Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 prime lens and since that time it has been quite an amazing journey, I mean. I've been using it for creative photography work, but mainly I've been using it for video work. With this lens I shot commercials and corporate videos, I shot music videos, 
events and product videos, promotional videos, I shot weddings, travel videos, Christmas videos, you name it. Long story short, this was one of the best investments that I did in my filmmaking and photography career so far, and I instantly fell in love with this lens. And a huge part of my work so far was shot using the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 prime lens. One of the biggest challenges for Micro Four Thirds camera users is to get that nice creamy shallow depth of field that separates the subject from the background. And having an f1.7 aperture, the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 will let in a lot of light. And it will give you a very nice bokeh and shallow depth of field, making your life a lot easier, not only when you're trying to get that nice blurry background, but also for low light situations. You can go from f1.7 maximum aperture all the way to f16 minimum aperture. And when using this lens, I noticed that the sweet spot where you can get the sharper results is when you're using your aperture between f2.8 and f5.6. The sharpness of this lens is amazing. It is definitely one of the sharper lenses I've seen so far. And it is still a very, very sharp lens, even at 1.7 aperture. Sharpness is absolutely one of the best qualities of this lens. Another thing that I love about the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 prime lens is the image quality. This lens can capture very high quality footage and photos, and for me, Coming out of only using the kit lens, I noticed a massive difference when I tried this lens for the first time. The Lumix 20mm f1.7 lens is focused by wire, but the focusing ring is a little bit slow and is not sensitive to turning speed, which means that when you're focusing your subject manually, it doesn't matter how fast you turn the ring. The only thing that matters is how far you turn it. In my opinion, this is not a deal breaker at all because when I'm using this particular lens, I always use manual touch focus on my Panasonic Lumix G7 and GH5 cameras, which for me, it is very accurate and precise and I never had any problems using it as long as I have proper lighting on my frame. But if you want to use manual focus by physically turning the focusing ring directly on the lens, that's definitely something to take into consideration because you will need to turn the focusing ring a lot of times to achieve proper focus. I don't often use out of focus, but when I do, I find it to be quite accurate and precise for my type of work. The downside of the out of focus is that it is a little bit loud and it does a little bit of focus breathing. Not something that would be a deal breaker for me, but it is something to take into consideration. About the build quality of the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 prime lens, the mounts and the exterior are metal and the rest of the lens is plastic. I think it is very decent in my opinion. And after using this lens for four years on a regular basis, you can definitely see some scratches and usage marks on my lens, but it is still in pretty good shape and I've used this lens a lot. And I like the fact that it's very small and lightweighted. You can literally put it in your pocket. It weighs about 100 grams, which is almost nothing. And combining that with the fact that it has a focal length of 20 millimeters, meaning 40 millimeters full frame equivalent, which is not too wide, but not too narrow either. This lens is a perfect choice, in my opinion, to use with a gimbal. The Lumix 20mm f1.7 Prime has a filter thread of 46mm, which is great and will allow you to mount a polarizer or an ND filter on your lens. It is not a macro lens, but you can get very close to your subject and still be able to focus. The minimum focus distance is 20 centimeters, and because you can get this close to your subject, you will be able to really blur that background. So that's another plus about this lens. The Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 is not image stabilized, but because the focal length of this lens is pretty wide, there's really no need to have stabilization. It is not weather sealed, but that feature doesn't usually come with lenses of this type and price. 
Overall, I think that the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 is an awesome lens and in my opinion it offers a huge value for the money. For current pricing on this particular lens you can check out the links in the description below and those are affiliate links which means that if you click on one of my links and make a purchase I will earn a small commission with no additional cost to you. So because this is a standard and versatile focal length lens with a field of view of 20mm, meaning 40mm full frame equivalent, this Panasonic Lumix Prime works well not only for slightly wide and establishing shots, but also for some medium shots and close-up shots. Because of this I use it a lot on a gimbal, but also for run and gun filmmaking, for traveling, for these types of YouTube videos and really everything else actually, because this is such a versatile lens. So with that being said, who is this lens for? And should you buy it? Well, I really think that the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 is the best prime lens to buy if, for example, currently you just own the kit lens and you want to drastically improve your image quality. Because even though this lens is not image stabilized, not weather sealed and the focus ring might be a little bit slow when you use it manually, you still get a lot of cool features like very sharp and high quality image, wide aperture with f1.7 that can not only deliver solid bokeh but also is great to have for low light situations and it's so small and compact that you can easily fit it in your pocket. And for the price, I really don't think you can get a better deal on the market for a micro four thirds prime lens like this. Also, if you don't own a standard focal length lens, the Lumix 20mm is a great option and this focal length is always very nice to have at all times because it is very versatile. So yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts about this lens. What do you think of the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 pancake lens? Would you buy it if this was your first lens? Do you already own one of these or do you own another prime lens? Go ahead and leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And that's it. I really, really hope you liked this video. I hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that little bell for notifications if you haven't already. Smash that like button because that really helps this channel. And if you would like to know how to make a short film, then be sure to click on this video right over here where I talk about how I made a short film from start to finish. And I will see you guys over there. Bye bye.